A'uzu billahi minash shaitani rajim bismillahi rahmani rahim rabbi sharli sadri wa yassir li amri wahlul 'uqdatam min lisani yafqahu qawli Assalamu alaikum everyone hope all of you are doing good and having a great day right now and smiling please smile as you know it's a sunnah of our beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so today's video is related to a video that i made a few days ago which was titled as the story of the first janaza in islam and in that i talked about prophet adam alayhi salam and his life on earth and when he got sick and when it was his time how his funeral was carried out by the angels and how we came to know the process of burial in islam so in that video after i posted it one of the brothers in the comment section asked that can you tell me why did prophet adam al islam gave 40 years of his life to daud al islam because i mentioned in that video that he was actually promised a thousand years but he gave 40 years of his life to prophet daud al islam but i didn't tell the reason for it so this video is going to be about that so let's get into it when allah created prophet adam al islam there was a time when he allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took his progeny meaning descendants from his back and showed him meaning put forth in front of him his whole progeny each and every one up until to the, to the last day of qiyama each and every person and then so imagine this imagine this how it happened then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this is mentioned in the quran as well so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala goes on and asked e each and every person that am i not the one who created you and so they replied this yes indeed you are the one who created us and then he asked that am i not your rab and they said yes you are and then in the next verse Allah continues on saying that do not come to me on the last day saying that we do not remember this agreement or we do not remember this moment this day and this is why this is why Allah gave us reminders Allah sent us reminders and Allah sent this Quran because we know from this Quran that this happened this happened even though we might not remember exactly that we were present in that moment but from the quran we know that it did happen so allah says do not come up to me with excuses on the last day that your forefathers were committing shirk or they were going astray and not praying to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not come and not being committed to the religion religion of islam do not take it as an excuse bring it as an excuse for yourself because every person will be questioned by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself directly and individually there will be no excuse because you had the Quran you knew what you were supposed to do so there is no excuse at all and that is why Allah said this that do not come up with an excuse on the day of Qiyamah to me and remember this moment so then what happened was that Adam al Islam was looking at everyone you know his progeny i mean he was shocked that all of his progeny is there up until to the last day and so every person's face was lit but there was one person whose face was shining bright shining and so prophet adam al islam was curious and he asked allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that who is that person and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that that is a man who is from one of the later nations his name is Daud or David, may peace be upon him. And so Adam al Islam was still curious, and so he asked Allah that how much life, how much, how long is he going to live for? How much life have you given him? As we both know, we all know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave Prophet Adam al Islam thousand years. He said that you're going to live for a thousand years. Allah promised Adam al Islam that you're going to live for a thousand years. So he asked, How long is he going to live? And Allah said, 60 years. 
And Prophet Adam al-Islam was like, what? He was shocked that that is so less. And so, you know, first, I want to stop here and talk about that. You know how Prophet Adam al-Islam is our father, is the father of mankind. So, you know how parents have love for their children and how they sacrifice for their children in this world. You know, they will work really hard and struggle a lot for their children so their children can have a better life. So this love was present for Adam al Islam as well, as he knew that all of those are his children, all of the people. And so Prophet Adam al Islam said to Allah that, can't you add 40 years to his life? And this is very interesting. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that we can take it from your life and add it to Dawud al Islam's life. And so then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala got the answer as Prophet Adam al Islam said that, okay, yes, you can take 40 years from my life and add to Dawud al Islam's. And subhanAllah, Prophet Dawud al Islam lived exactly up to 100 years. He lived exactly to 100 years. SubhanAllah. And this is why, this is why when, if you fast forward it, to the day that Prophet Adam al Islam was sick and the angel of death came to take his life, he was like, Wait, don't I have 40 more years to live? as he was 960 years. But he, he had forgotten about this day, and so the angel of death reminded him that, Don't you remember that you gave 40 years of your life to Dawood? May peace be upon him. And then he remembered and he was like, Okay, just let me say this one last thing to my children. And then he passed on the message to his children that there's only one God. He will send you prophets and he will send you reminders and he won't let you be alone. So do not let shaitan deceive you and pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only and no one else. So this is basically the story of how Prophet Adam al-Islam gave 40 years of his life to Prophet Dawud al-Islam. Such an interesting story. Such an interesting story. And we, what the lesson we're supposed to learn from it is that how, prof, uh, how it's mentioned in the Quran that Allah said to all of us, to all of us, since the whole, all of his progeny, all of us were present over there, that do not come back on the day of Qiyamah with an excuse that our forefathers were doing this or our fathers were doing this, doing shirk or associating partners with Allah. So we did the same thing. There is no excuse. All of us will be questioned directly, directly with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There will be no translator, there will be no other person who will come and intervene on behalf of us. No one, it would be just us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So there won't be any excuse on that day. And may we take this as a lesson and may Allah guide us and may Allah make us one of those who will follow Islam and the teachings of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam till the last day. And so this is it for the video. I hope you guys liked it and found it beneficial. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and please don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate all of the support that you guys have been giving me. You can also follow me on my social media, my Instagram and my Twitter. I post daily stuff on it that you guys might like. And so yeah, take care of yourself, be humble, be good. Do good and I'll see you guys in the next video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.